when you had your visit to Texas A&M and you're walking around on campus and they normally have, they pull out their best, you know, the, the best ladies to show you around. They call them hostesses and they show you around and you walking around on campus and you look at it around, you're like, yeah, I'm coming early. It's never about the girls for me back then, really, to the max. I've always been a guy that like rides for my dogs and I enjoy the time with my bros and just drinking and, you know, smoking or doing whatever. Like right. that was always what it was for me. So when I went on my visit to Texas A&M, they stuck me with two of the biggest party boys on the whole team and they showed me the time of my life to the point of where I'm in the back of the Uber and I'm I'm sick. <laughs> like I had too many shots. I am lit off my ass. And I remember being in this Uber and being like, man, I got to throw up. I cannot let these guys see any sign of weakness. So I just remember being like, all right, I'm going to see you boys later. I'll see you in the morning. And I don't even make it to my room. I don't even make it back to the room. You know, my family were in these joined rooms at this hotel and college station, the Hilton. And they wake up the next day and I'm just outside the door, just. <laughs> and that to me, I woke up the next day. They're kind of pushing me. I'm like, success. <laughs> I'm alive. I'm good. <laughs> and I'm sitting going to meet Coach Sherman at this taco place, Fuego. <coughs> and I roll in probably 10 minutes late. And he looks at me and I'm just white as a ghost. And Coach Sherman had been with Brett Favre in Green Bay. He knew what, he knew what he was knew up. Signs. He knew what was up. And he was so good that he was just like, he knew, he knew when he put me with them two dudes from San Antonio, who I looked up to, it was on. And he had me. I'm in the boat. I'm in the boat. <laughs>